Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome back to Geeks Rising. My name is Bandrew, and I run the Bandrew Says podcast. If you want to know more, go check out geeksrising.com. But now, let's talk about my favorite things of the entirety of last year. Entirety of last... Out of all of last year, these are my favorite things. Why am I talking all weird? And the first item on the list is a five-year journal. To be clear, I have not completely filled this out because it's a five-year journal and I've only been using it for one year, but I did successfully make an entry for every single day this last year and I found that really enjoyable because it made me recount what I did throughout the day and just make a document of it. And I think that's more the purpose of this, just to be able to look back on a specific date and determine what you did. It's not the standard journaling that we're used to or accustomed to. And because it does have such limited space, I have found myself multiple times wanting to write more. And over the last year, I just used printer paper or something like that to write on it. But I found this old notebook that I got six or seven years ago that I never used. So I'm going to try using this, which just has a bunch of blank lined paper in it. And if I want to write a bit more, I'll write into this and I don't have to spend any money because I got it seven years ago. So there you go, a five-year journal and then in the future, a little leatherette journal or why not printer paper because I've got that and I don't print much either. The second item on the list is actually another item that I got six or seven years ago or maybe it was five years ago. I don't know, actually I got it at the same time as this journal. I think it was a bespoke post that came with a journal and a fountain pen. That's the second item, a Kaveco Sport fountain pen. These are incredibly affordable fountain pens and it really made me realize the difference in writing styles or writing experiences rather between a ballpoint and a fountain pen and I just fell in love with the fountain pen writing experience. And the pen that I had is a medium nib, but I didn't like that because some of the paper I was writing on the ink would just leak all over the place or bleed all over the place. So I decided to get another Kaveco Sport and this time I got a fine tip on this and I find this a much more enjoyable writing experience and just a ton of fun. So that is my second item. It made me enjoy writing quite a bit more and made it feel a little bit more special even though I know that sounds cheesy and hokey and corny. It's about finding the little things in life that bring us a bit of joy, especially in such insane times. You need a little bit of escapism, and this allowed me to find that. And on the note of escapism, the final item on my list is the complete series of Harry Potter. This is not an audiobook, this is not a Kindle book, a Nook book, whatever it is, or movies. These are physical books, and that is very intentional. First off, I had never finished reading this series, I had never finished watching the movies, I had no idea how it ended, and somehow <laughs> I had avoided spoilers, so that was a very happy accident that that had occurred, and when I needed escapism, I could dive into the books. But the reason that I think the physical books were so important for that is... There are zero distractions, and you need to be very intentional about picking up a book to read it. If you pick up a Kindle, you may get a download notification, you lost connection. If you pick up your phone, you'll get a social media ding or a phone call or something. If you pick up a physical book, you don't need to charge it, you don't need to do anything. You just pick it up, read it, and escape. And I think the smell of it, too. There's something about that that just takes me back to childhood. I don't know why. And that was really important for me over the last year. So that is the final item on my list, or the final physical item on my list. The complete series of Harry Potter on physical book. And my final favorite thing of 2021 was just being able to stay connected to people, whether it be through email, text, phone, Discord, Minecraft, whatever the means may be. Being able to stay connected to people in a very isolated year. Another extremely isolated year. I am sure that if I didn't have the ability to stay in touch with people, I would have completely lost my damn mind. And luckily I didn't, or maybe unfortunately, because I'm sure it would have been funny to watch. I don't know, <laughs> but I am glad 
that I have had that ability to stay in touch with people and keep me grounded, I guess. And those are my favorite things of the year, the things that helped me get through another very unusual, very difficult, and very isolated year. I would love to hear from you in the comments on this video what your favorite items of the year were, whether it be a physical item or an action that you partook in, talking to people on Discord, sending an angry tweet to Kellogg's Flakes or something. I don't know what you do. Whatever brought you joy and helped you get through this year, let me know in the comments because that is just fascinating. And maybe somebody will see what you, what helped you and realize, hey, I want to try that and see if that helps me. I want to yell at Kellogg's as well. Kellogg's do not sue me. I am not telling people to bombard you with hatred. I don't know if Kellogg's has anything, <laughs> any negative press going on about them. They, d they just popped into my head. Their marketing is working. So good on you, Kellogg's. You're doing good. I'm rambling. You can listen to my podcast at geeksrising.com. Check all that stuff out. And I will talk to you at a later date with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.